how to add payment gateway option in your checkout page. Well, WP Travel offers you more than 15 payment gateway features, which could be really useful and some of are available in WP Travel Free and some in WP Travel Pro version of the plugin. Some of the payment gateway features are like PayPal, PayPal Express Checkout, Stripe Checkout, PayFast Checkout and much much more. So if you want to have a much deeper look into payment features, you can just head over to the link in the description. And for the sake of this video we are going to be explaining paypal express checkout and stripe checkout and also we are going to learn how to enable this payment gateway and display in the checkout page on the user's end or the front page so paypal express checkout option after activating wp travel pro various payment gateway options are available in payment section just head over to the admin panel and wp travel and to settings from there choose payment tab and you can already see a bunch of payment features in here just scroll a little bit down and here you can see paypal express checkout just drop down through this little arrow and you can see some options first of all you have enable paypal express checkout just check this option and after you enable it automatically test mode will be activated and available options will display which you need to add as shown in here you have to enter the client id and in this option allows you to enter the client id if you don't have one you can just click on this here link and it will direct you to the paypal page from where you can get the client ID after logging in into your account respectively. Here you can see color, size, shape and label. Now let me explain about what these features are. Using the advanced options you can change the color of your button which is going to be visible on the users and you have gold, blue, silver and you can see. Secondly comes the size. Using this you have some options to choose the size of the button either you want it small medium large or responsive it's on your choice next you have shape this allows you to add the shape of your button either it could be pill or rectangle again it's all up to you whatever looks good to you and then finally comes label this allows you to add label which is going to be visible on the top of the payment system in the checkout step so either you can name it checkout pay or whatsoever you would like and at last you can see allow payments using card with express checkout you will be able to pay using card as well as the option allows the users to enable and disable the option of using the payment using card so that could be quite helpful if you are confused about which client ID to enter don't worry I got you basically there are two modes of using the Express checkout one is production mode and the other one is the test mode so now we have two scenarios if you are using production mode then you have to enter the live key in the production client ID section if you are using test mode then enter the sandbox key in the sandbox client ID section now the point to be noted here is these keys are provided by PayPal. And again, if you still want to know how you can get the key and want to have a deeper look, you can head over to the link in the description and it will guide you step by step to get the key easily. After getting the ID, you will need to enter this client ID in the PayPal Express checkout of your WordPress dashboard as shown in here and you are pretty much good to go. Now that you are done with the ID, you have to change the currency which is going to be operated in the checkout section. Since we selected the payment acceptance for PayPal checkout, out payment gateway is available in US and UK and others. After adding the required credentials, please select the currency which is accepted by PayPal Express Checkout Payment Gateway by going to Admin Panel, WP Travel, Settings and General. As card payment acceptance for PayPal Checkout Payment Gateway is available in US, UK and others. So now we are pretty much done with setting up our PayPal Express Checkout Payment Gateway. Let's head over to the users end page and see how is it looking. So now here when a user click on PayPal button, your app sets up the payment and begins the checkout in PayPal pop up window. Which is pretty cool and it means it is working perfect. Now you need to log in into your PayPal account using your mail and password and PayPal return controls to your site to finalize the payment. The site then shows the payment details as given in here. So that wraps it up. Second comes Stripe Checkout. 
To activate this payment gateway, go to Add-in Panel again and WP Travel and the setting Enter Payment tab. Here you can see the Stripe payment option. Just enable it and once the payment gateway is enabled, you need to enter the required credentials. Now you can see some options in here. For example, Enable Stripe. This option enables a user to enable or disable the Stripe checkout option. Test Publishable Key also allows you to enter the Test Publishable Key and the rest are pretty much the same. Now the point to be noted here is if you do not have the key already and wondering how to get one then please refer to the link in the description. Again, it will guide you step by step how you can get the keys easily. After getting the test publishable key and the test secret key, you need to add in the test section as shown in here. And similarly, you need to add live publishable key and live secret key in here also. After adding the required credentials, you need to again set up the currency which is accepted by Stripe Checkout Payment Gateway option. And finally, we can head over to the user's end and see how is it looking. After selecting Stripe Checkout, then you need to add a card details, for example, card number, expiry date, and a CVC number. After addition of the info, click on the book and pay button, and a pop-up button will appear on the screen for authentication along with the payment amount. Click on the complete authentication button and it will complete your payment process so that pretty much wraps it up also so i hope you learned something new in this one and if you did so make sure to like share and subscribe and until next time peace